If you're looking for a way to quickly add stitches to your knits, front and back increases are an excellent choice. While they're super easy to make, these increases are pretty obvious in your finished fabric. Because they're more visible than other increases, they're a great choice for busy textured projects or something with a lot of ribbing you can hide them in. Hi, I'm Hannah from Knitting.com, and today we're going to be learning how to knit and purl front and back increases. Let's talk about abbreviations for a minute. Knit front and back increases are commonly abbreviated as KFB in patterns. Purl front and back increases are shortened to PFB. To make these increases, you're working a single stitch twice, once through the front loop and once through the back of the stitch. This means that every time you increase, you'll wind up with both a knit V and a purl bump in your fabric. For today's practice, we're going to need a swatch. I have mine right here. Let's get started. To work a KFB, which means knit front and back, which means you're working into one stitch. You're going through the front and then not taking out the needle and then going through the back. And that creates both a knit V and a purl bump out of the stitch. So you're creating two stitches in one. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. The first thing you wanna to do to get started is find that stitch you're gonna work into. You're going to insert your needle as if to knit, wrap your yarn around, so through the front, wrap your yarn around, pull it through, but don't slip that stitch off your left needle. Instead, you're gonna come around to the back, insert it through the back loop, and then wrap it. So that creates your purl bump. Now you can slip that stitch off your needle and you can see you have a knit stitch and a purl stitch where before there was just one stitch. I'm gonna knit one and then we're going to do that again. So knit normally. Now we're ready to work again. So we're gonna go in through the front, wrap it around, pull it through, leave that stitch on, put your needle to the back, Grab the yarn again through the back loop of that same stitch, pull it through, then slip it off. So now you have a KFB here and a KFB here. And you can see that bump is pretty obvious. So this, is, this increase, it's super easy to do, but it will leave you with that purl bump that will be a little bit obvious in your fabric. If you're looking for an increase that is less obvious and more invisible, we have a few other ones to try in our channel. Go ahead and check those out. So as always with a purl, you've got your yarn in the front. You're going to insert your needle through the front loop, wrap your yarn up and over counterclockwise. You're gonna pull it through. Now don't slip that stitch off yet. This is how you're gonna work in the back. So you're going to come around and insert your knitting needle through that back loop. So you're gonna come all the way around and grab it, kind of twisting that stitch. Wrap your yarn up and over, and then pull it through that loop. Now you can slip that stitch all the way off your needle. And then you've got two stitches where there were, there was just one in the row before. We're gonna do that one more time. We're going to wrap it, so just a regular purl stitch. Now we're gonna work another increase. So again, come through the front, wrap it up and over just like a normal purl, but leave that stitch on. We're gonna rotate our needle so you can see, here's the back loop of that same stitch. Insert your needle up through it, kind of twisting it as you go. Wrap that yarn up and over again, and then pull it through. Slip that stitch off, and you've created another increase. Something to keep in mind is sometimes that loop can get a little tight when you're going through the front and the back. Go ahead and just give it a wiggle and, and kind of pull to loosen it. Don't worry, it'll, it'll tighten back up because you're working in it twice. You won't have a big loose stitch. So feel free to really get in there and get a little bit, a little tough with it if you need to. And that is how to work a PFB increase. As always, you can work any increase you'd like. Thinking about how the increase will look in the context with the rest of your pattern will help you decide which increase to use in which project. Also, your pattern might specify a certain increase. It's always sound advice to use whatever the designer recommends in every pattern. 
And that's how to work a KFB and PFB increase. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to knitting.com if you'd like to stay in the loop and check out our other social media channels. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one and happy knitting.